Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today we're gonna do a little bit more with the talk pod. Will it transmit where it shouldn't? Is it dirty? How much power does it put out? Let's go take a look. We're gonna be on GMRS01. We're gonna have transmit power set to high and we are going to PTT, 2.73 watts. Now we're going to go to VFOB. Transmit power is still set to high. 6.9 watts, UHF. 3.65. GMRS, we're gonna go to low power. 0.43. Low power. Oh, that's interesting, it's jumping around. 3.6, sure. Jumping around again on UHF, excellent. We're going to test out the harmonics and we're gonna use, this is my tiny SA Nano BNA kit, so we're gonna use this. I need my 40 dB attenuator. I'm gonna need some cables and adapters and I'm gonna need my tiny SA. And I'm gonna take the attenuator and I'm gonna plug it right into the radio because why not? Looks good there like that. Probably safer that way too. This screen's gonna be hard to see on camera. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the tests, I'm gonna run through the procedure and I'm gonna take some notes for you and then I'll share the results at the end. Turn this thing on, load my calibration. So preset and I've got a zero to 350 megahertz calibration. There is no way to calibrate this thing on the high port. I have tried, so we won't do that. But I need to go to measure harmonic of 146.52 megahertz. And then if we turn this on and we are on 146.52, transmit power high. And if we transmit, our first harmonic is 293.04. And that is minus 33, looks like minus 32.8. And then let's find our fundamental of 146.52. I bet it's that one, 36 point, 36 even. And then in order to do the third harmonic, I need to switch to the high port. And then I need to go in here and I need to do mode, switch to high in. And we're looking for 439.56, which is probably that one, 439.30-ish. Okay, minus 43, minus 42.9. We'll stick with minus 42.9. Since we're already here, we'll do harmonics of 446 measure, harmonic, 446 megahertz. And we're still at high transmit power, 446.8. It's gonna be a little bit off because of the number of samples that this thing takes. All right, we'll stick at minus 24 for the fundamental. And then we want our first harmonic is gonna be 892.00. So let's find 892 on here. And that is minus 63.4. All right, so now we need to do the GMRS channel since this is supposed to be a GMRS radio. Let's switch to the A band, GMRS 22. GMRS 22 is 462. 0.725. So let's see what we get on 462.725. Minus 36 and climbing. We went to minus 24 on 446. We shouldn't be that much different on this one. We'll call it at minus 26.5. And then the second harmonic of 462.725 is 925.450. And we're at, oh, it's climbing still. Minus 64. All right, there we go. And now we get to the ugly part. You see on the bottom, I'm at 162,450. That seems a lot like a weather channel, don't you think? Three watts out on the weather channel. How about one? I'll let, I'll let the radio do the talking. And I'm, I'm obviously into a dummy load because I'm responsible here. Six and a half watts out. How about 224? Three point six watts out. Anywhere else you want to try and transmit? Nope. Yep, it won't transmit that high. I don't even know what that frequency is.
Oh, it won't transmit on AM. Nope. Nope, won't transmit there. So it's got a pretty, pretty big range of frequencies that it is open on. Yeah. So there you have it. You've been warned, this thing will transmit wherever you tell it to transmit. Eh, pretty much, within, within the limitations of the hardware. It's an easy firmware fix. I'm sure they'll have a firmware fix out for it pretty darn soon. When they do get that, I will show you a video on how to, how to do that firmware update. So let me know down below what you think about this thing's dirty transmitter or its output power or anything else you'd like to share in the comments. Maybe what you had for dinner last night. I don't know. There's a video right up here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.